Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4 that generation here from year 2010 to year 2018. If you need to find guys where fuses and relays for that throttle position sensor are located, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays with a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, fuses, uh, bodywork, a little bit of everything. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience. Check it out. That way you do not waste your money, guys. Also, we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Check them out, guys. We'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well. So let's start on it now. So guys, this BMW has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist. You have up to five or six different fuse boxes. And for many of you, okay, some of those are special fuse boxes, kind of like this one here. If you don't know about them, guys, we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on BMW X3 X4. Check it out. It can save you thousands of dollars in repairs. So guys, for the throttle position sensor, which fuses and relays we need to check for any of you that want to see how to test throttle position sensor, we have videos on our YouTube channels that will teach you how to do that. That should work on BMW X3, X4 as well, because they're built on the same platform, guys. So most of the things are the same. We need to first open the passenger door, then you need to open the glove box. You will need to uh, remove everything out of your glove box, all the content, because in the very back on the right, you see that cover needs to come out. Press that tab pull the cover out behind it. You're going to find a fuse box that has a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance, I'm going to pull one fuse here, okay, and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good, they're bad, and let's say you think you have a good fuse, you put it back in, and you end up having problems again, and you spend time, money, you buy parts, diagnostics, you pay for services that you don't need, guys, you practically wasted your money, so all you have to do is waste, uh, ch ch check your fuses, that way you don't waste waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys here which fuses and relays we need to check just one in that fuse box then we need to go to in two more fuse boxes here in that row you need to check a 15 amp fuse which is known as fuse 35 right there then open guys okay the trunk on your bmw remove that cover on the side on the right side here lift the insulation up behind it you have another fuse box here you may need to check up to three more fuses. You may have all of them or just some, depending on the year, model, and engine. One of the fuses that you need to check is fuse 131 if you have it, 132, and 143, right there. However, guys, okay, for throttle body, throttle position sensor, the main fuses, guys, you need to open the hood, face the windshield on the driver's side. You see that cover needs to be removed. We'll have a video how to do that. Uh, the video is called fuse box location and diagram on BMW X3 X4. That's the brake fluid reservoir. This white cover needs to come out. Remove the clip, pull the cover out. You will see underneath the, uh, this is the power supply module. Here guys, okay. If you remove it, it looks like this one. It's supposed to be non-serviceable, but we'll have a video how to open it. 
and you can actually replace the fuses in most of them and here you have one two three four five six seven fuses three relays those are for engine management functions and one of those will be throttle board and throttle position sensors so if you have problems with it check these fuses relays you don't have relays guys that function is controlled practically by the engine computer so guys if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes guys, those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well guys and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. If you have any questions let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.